Our world is rapidly depleting its fossil fuel resources. The quest to find alternative, cleaner fuels has become a matter that's now linked to our very survival. South Africa has an estimated 2 million households without electricity. A lack of generating capacity, high grid expansion costs and corresponding increase of electricity tariffs prevents the majority of these communities from receiving a connection in the foreseeable future. Fortunately, there is good news. South Africa has almost 75% of the world's platinum reserves. Platinum and platinum group metals mined in South Africa are important components of fuel cells and electrolyzers. As demand for renewable energy grows, hydrogen will play a significant role in future energy storage systems. Department of Science and Technology of South Africa developed the National Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Technologies Research, Development and Innovation Strategy. The national strategy was branded Hydrogen South Africa or HISA. The overall goal of HISA is to develop and guide innovation along the value chain of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies in South Africa. We aim to bring about wealth and jobs through the initiation of new high-technology industries based on minerals found on South African soil, especially platinum group metals. Our efforts are centered around three centers of competence, HISA Infrastructure, HISA Catalyst and HISA Systems. HISA Infrastructure deals with hydrogen production, storage and delivery and is co-hosted by the Northwest University and the CSIR. Dr. Dmitry Besarabov heads our Pontchefstroom and Pretoria-based centre, where a team of researchers apply their international expertise in electrolysis, renewable energy, power management, membranes, fuel cells and hydrogen storage. HISA Infrastructure offers world-class facilities, including state-of-the-art electrochemical analytical equipment such as Solatron and Gamry. We also operate in-house made and OEM supplied automated test stations for electrolysis hardware benchmarking. A triple volume laboratory for hydrogen pilot plants is also available. In addition to our facilities in Pochestrum, the dedicated hydrogen building at the CSIR campus offers hydrogen storage testing facilities. So, how is hydrogen and platinum connected and how will this help to alleviate our modern world's energy problems? The answer lies in energy storage. South Africa and the rest of Africa have an abundance of renewable energy, more specifically solar and wind energy, but all that power has to be stored somehow. And that is where hydrogen comes in. Hydrogen fuel cells are a viable economical option for supplying households in sub-Saharan Africa with cost-effective electricity for short time periods. Now enter platinum. The production of hydrogen is done using an electrolysis process, more specifically using a proton exchange membrane. PEM technology uses platinum and iridium as a catalyst and fortunately 75% of the platinum worldwide is mined right here in South Africa. A blossoming hydrogen economy will ultimately lead to platinum taking off, beneficiating the South African mineral resource base. Producing low-cost hydrogen from renewable energy and storing it as a lightweight, compact energy carrier for fuel cell applications is the focus of HISA's research efforts. Aligned with this strategy is the goal of developing cost-competitive solutions for the generation of hydrogen locally by focusing on using renewable energy. HISA infrastructure has strong support from the South African mining industry. Some research projects we are currently working on in partnership with Anglo-American Platinum aims to develop a revolutionary electrochemical hydrogen compression technology for industrial and hydrogen fuel cell applications.
Hydrogen is produced via electrolysis by applying direct current through two electrodes in water. The required electricity to start this electrolysis process is produced by renewable power source such as solar or wind energy. The water molecule is split, producing oxygen at the anode or positive electrode and hydrogen at the cathode or negative electrode. In this process, a metal such as platinum or iridium is used as a catalyst. The term used for these metal catalysts is platinum group metals or PGM-based electrocatalysts. ISA uses an advanced PEM electrolysis process where an ion conductive membrane is placed between two electrodes. PEM technology eliminates the use of corrosive electrolytes and also allows oxygen and hydrogen to be separated in a safe and efficient way. When produced, hydrogen needs to be stored. Porous materials such as metal organic and carbon nanostructures and their composites are being developed by HISA infrastructure for fuel cell applications. Other projects at CSIR in Pretoria also include the development of hydrogen storage media based on high-pressure composite cylinders and chemical carriers for fuel cell vehicle applications. We are not focused solely on research. HISA is also aiming at becoming a supplier of high-tech components and systems for export in the hydrogen and fuel cell space, adding value to the manufacturing process locally, creating jobs and producing highly skilled individuals for the new hydrogen market. Fuel cells and associated hydrogen infrastructure represent an exciting new market which could drive growth for platinum as well as spark significant new opportunities internationally and locally in South Africa. Join us on our quest to develop tomorrow's technologies that will drive a cleaner and more energy efficient world.
technology could change the face of tomorrow. With this clean and efficient source of energy, we will pave ways to new and improved forms of technology that are greener and healthier. But it all starts with research. Science can be fun. It might just change the world. South Africa is a global leader in platinum production, which means we're pushing international innovation forward through global supply of platinum. 